It's nice to see that unlike Canada's most popular stock of 2023, which took a little tumble after our coverage in December, our top performing Canadian stock has held its own this year. Shopify stock has recovered to a trading range we consider fairly valued after Canadian interest rates chipped away at tech stock valuations for a while and Shopify's 2022 earnings. But with market sentiment suggesting an end to interest rate hikes and Canadian recession talks quieting down, it may not be a surprise that this top Canadian tech stock is rebounding, especially when it has been diversifying. Gone are the days of an e-commerce business concentrated in tech startups with high failure rates. Today, Shopify's client base is diversified with larger merchants and an enterprise segment with a 90% retention rate. A recession is still a possibility, but Shopify's evolving client base has yet to be put to the test. Senior equity analyst Dan Romanoff forecasts a continued shift to merchant solutions from subscription plans, as well as a forecast for a 19% annual compound growth rate for total revenue, which brings us to the diversification that's happening within Shopify's revenue streams. Romanoff sees revenue being driven not only by new merchants joining the platform, but also by growth in services such as payment processing, shipping, and even financing programs. So while there may be a high churn rate for small business customers at Shopify, especially in a recession, this should be countered by more revenue opportunities from businesses that do succeed and become Shopify Plus enterprise customers. Now apply that model to the company's international expansion that is underway, and we may find out why people stop selling Shopify. For Morningstar, I'm Andrew Willis.